Here are three essential tips to learn foreign languages faster and easier. Before I get started, I just want to mention that all of these tips are also available on my website, ryanslanguagetips.com. If you want even more tips for how to study more efficiently and faster, then be sure to check out my blog posts on my website. So tip number one is focus on phrases and sentences. Now I think we can all agree that there's no perfect way to learn a language, and I mean even here on YouTube a lot of people disagree on what the best method might be. In my opinion, one of the fastest ways that you can really progress in a language is by focusing on learning phrases and sentences. Let me give you a little example of how I was able to use this tip to really jumpstart my Chinese learning. So about three years ago, before I even started studying Chinese, I was playing a video game called PUBG, and I noticed that I had a lot of Chinese teammates, and they would often communicate, usually in Chinese. Now, it was a bit frustrating for me to not be able to communicate with them, so what I ended up doing was I went online and I looked up some really simple phrases in Chinese, phrases like, let's go, or follow me. And at the time I had absolutely zero understanding of how to pronounce words in Chinese or Chinese grammar or anything of that sort. All right, where are we going, boys? Now watch this. As soon as I say something in Chinese, they're all going to be like, oh, oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. Hey, you guys are You guys are going to go to where? Oh, you I simply just tried to copy exactly how the phrases sounded to the best of my ability, and I would repeat them over and over to my teammates, saying things like, let's go, woman, zopa. Now, two things happened as a result of this. Number one, my Chinese teammates got really excited whenever I would try and say phrases. Their excitement gave me a lot of inspiration to keep learning new phrases and keep trying and testing different sentences that I learned. The second thing was, some of the teammates that I met in-game would later add me as a friend and we would play multiple games. And by playing multiple games with someone, I would start to develop a friendship with them and we would be able to help each other in our different languages. Now keep in mind, this is day one of me learning Chinese. Now you're probably saying, well what about grammar or tones? Those things are extremely important, you need to know those. Well that's absolutely correct. But what I realized was, after learning sentences and phrases for a while, I was eventually able to pick apart certain grammar points, such as past tense and things like that. I think this method of picking apart sentences and phrases that you learn is a lot more interesting than learning single words or single grammar points at one time. And based on my example from playing PUBG, I was able to use those phrases and sentences I learned immediately. If I had just spent the first day learning individual words, I don't think it would be very useful to go on PUBG and say to a Chinese person, Mi fan, Bing xiang, Fei ji. So in conclusion, I think learning phrases and sentences can be a great way to start studying a language, and you can focus on learning grammar and pronunciation kind of as you go, filling in the gaps, so to speak. Because at the end of the day, you can't be perfect when you're learning a language. It doesn't matter who you are, everyone's going to make mistakes, and that's completely normal. The important thing is that you're talking and practicing from day one. So tip number two, repetition is absolutely essential. So repetition is a pretty common theme for language learners. I know for myself personally, I cannot learn a phrase one time and then remember it forever. I need to see that phrase 10, 11, 12 times. I need to repeat it back to myself and say it over and over again, so that way I really understand it. 我喜欢吃饺子, and I think a lot of people who use textbooks to study kind of fall into this trap where they learn something once and then they completely forget it by the time they move on to the next topic. If you really want to remember something, you need to be practicing it a lot. And this applies to a lot of different parts of learning a language. Learning how to pronounce a word, learning a certain phrase, learning just a word in general. All of these things require a lot of repetition in order for you to actually really get it cemented in your brain. Call me crazy, but I often walk around my house repeating phrases to myself that I had just learned in a foreign language. I try and repeat them with correct pronunciation and repeat them in a natural manner. And by doing this, I'm able to actually use that phrase when I need to in conversation with someone. And I won't be left sitting there going, And just going back to my last example for a second, this actually really helps when learning phrases too. If you're repeating a phrase often and practicing it with people often, you're gonna remember it. But if you just read it once from a book and expect to remember it, that's probably not gonna happen. Anyways, key point of the second tip, repetition is key. And practice repetition whenever you can. Practice phrases around your house, practice pronunciation when you're out walking, practice new words you learned when you're in the bathroom. 
The third and final tip, and I've kind of already mentioned this already, is practice what you've actually learned. What is the point of learning a language if you're not actually going to use what you've learned in a real world situation? And with the internet today, there are so many good ways to be able to practice with people, it's crazy. Let's say you learn some new phrases and you really want to practice them. Well, like I've already mentioned, you have video games as an option. Two of my favorite video games to practice are PUBG and VR Chat. In addition to video games, you also have language exchange apps. So two ones that I've heard that are pretty good are Hello Talk and Tandem. And the best part of these apps is that you're meeting people that share the interest of language learning with you. So it's far more likely that they'll be very patient with you and very understanding when you're practicing. It also means you can get direct feedback on what you say. And again, this direct feedback will help you build so much confidence in your language learning journey. If you want to step it up a notch, you can use apps like Omegle or OmeTV. Now I will say, you do have to be careful on these apps. There are certainly people on there that do not want to practice languages, and I will leave it there. But it's really hard to beat, because you're connecting directly with native speakers of certain languages. This gives you the opportunity to practice with native speakers from the comfort of your own home. Not to mention, you're basically having a real-life conversation with someone, so it'll help you become more comfortable when you actually are talking to people in real life as well. The last option is you can go Laoshu or Xiaoma style and just go out in public and start talking to people. Now don't get me wrong, this can be very awkward and embarrassing for people, but it can also lead to so many awesome outcomes as well. Oddly enough, when I was in China in 2019, I was out by myself walking through a night market in a local part of town. I was probably the only foreigner in the entire area, but I said, you know what, I'm going to speak some Chinese to people. And at the time, my Chinese was not good. But regardless, I went up to the food stall with dumplings and I said to the man, Ni hao, wo xiang chi jiaozi, jiaozi duo xiao qian la. And the guy working the food stall got so excited and so interested and he started asking me all these questions. There was also a family to my right that overheard it too, and they were very surprised. And so then they began asking me questions. And in broken Chinese, I was talking to them and trying my best to communicate. What ended up happening was the family actually invited me to their store for dinner. So we headed on over to their store, and I got to have some great food and enjoy some drinks as well. And of course, the guy introduced me to his whole family, and he made me take a picture with his kid as well. <laughs> And then after we were finished eating, he showed me around that entire part of town. And keep in mind, all this happened simply because I tried to speak a few words of Chinese. Now I'm not saying that's going to happen for everybody, but some awesome things really can happen when you immerse yourself in a foreign language. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed these three tips, and be sure to check out my website Ryan's Language Tips for even more blog posts and even more information. Thanks everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.